today's topic is on small wins, increasing confidence, building confidence. And this is something we very much neglect. Um, we understate its importance in all walks of our life. And with our health and fitness, small wins, increasing our confidence can help us keep on track. And if you're starting a fitness journey, whether that's weight loss, fat loss, which are two different things, um, weight loss is generally something considered, you know, when you are in kind of the obesity sort of range, where you have a lot of weight to lose, um, a lot of body fat to lose, whereas fat loss um, is more considered for, you know, those who aren't in that category, who just want to kind of slim down in terms of their shape and losing that amount of body fat. And on a fitness journey with your muscle gain, if you're trying to build like lean muscle mass, or even if you're just wanting to feel more confident in your own bodies, um, body confidence is a huge thing. So whatever your fitness goals is, you've got to build yourself up and set yourself up for success. And it's a really understated thing about small wins. And small wins is a very important process that we need to do every single day in order to set ourselves up for our health and fitness goals and for life in general. But as always, I stay in my lane um, for the time being. So with, the, with our health and fitness goals, how do we set up you know, small wins? How do we build that confidence? Well, the hardest bit is getting it going because like, like with everything, you know, once we, sometimes it just takes a while to get, get going and sometimes the hardest bit is taking that plunge. But once we get that ball rolling, you know, when we start to pick up momentum, everything starts to flow, we get into a rhythm, and it starts to feel easier and it starts to become more enjoyable. And a lot of people don't get to that bit because they don't want to, they don't have the patience to get to that bit where it does start to flow better. It's such a short term mindset where it's quick fix after quick fix. Quick fix. Um, and if we don't get kind of results we want, then we just think, what's the point? But we're not actually setting up ourselves up for success at all. Um, and what we need to do in setting ourselves up for success, building those small wins, is just setting those daily, daily little goals. Daily goals that you know are attainable, ones you can achieve, and ones that can push you forward each day closer towards your goal. And this does transfer into everyday life. You know, whether you're in business, whether you want to improve your mental health, with your fitness goals, every single day, just being consistent with it. It doesn't seem significant at the time, on that first day, but over time, the atomic habits, that's what it compiles, small, small habits compile into huge results over time. And we neglect this concept, because humans in general go for the short term fix as I just said, but with our health and fitness, we're such a, I need to lose weight, I need to lose fat, but it's almost like people look at it and say, okay, I need to lose this weight and fat, but I'm not willing to put all that consistency in. I want to lose weight within the next week and then for my problems to be over. And that's just unrealistic. And then they beat themselves up about why they haven't gotten to the body they want to have because they've looked for a short-term fix and it's actually put them worse off than when they started. And it's just like, well, what do you expect? Because life doesn't work like that. Stuff doesn't work like that. All this kind of, and there's a lot of commercial crap out there that tells you that that is achievable, attainable, but for a longer term kind of result, it's not. And the grand scheme of life, if you do want to go on a bit of a fitness journey to lose a bit of weight, for example, well, if you, if you want to lose, say, I don't know, 30 pounds, it might seem quite significant and a lot. And, you know, it's a fair amount, but when you break it down in your life, if you put in building in those small wins and if you build in those habits to get to that goal, that will take you a certain period of time. And in the grand scheme of things in your life, that is not a significant amount of time. That's not gonna take you something like five, six years to do. So 
we so often see life in the short term that it's just like, well actually, if you want to be, feel happy in your own body, if you want to feel more confident in your own body, if you want to have the body you desire to have, you know, just think of life in the grand scheme of things. Don't think of, I have to have it by next year, or I have to, it's just like, okay, we need to calm down, we need to focus, and you're not gonna get there because you're not building your small wins. Small wins increase our confidence because we know we can do it. It gives us the belief that we can do these things. If you're setting up small wins for yourself every day, if you set up 10,000 steps a day, very easily attainable. That, especially from the city of London, that is, for any city, you can walk pretty much everywhere. You can stop at the tube stop before and walk that extra bit. If you keep doing that over time, getting 10,000 steps in, you're getting those steps in a day and you're setting yourself up in those wins. You, you actually realise to yourself, I can do this. You know, it's not as hard as people make it out to be. I can do it. And then when you realise you can do, do that, it's like, well, what next? What next can I do? And then you start to just build that self-belief that all the things you thought were, you know, really difficult and kind of seemed a bit long-winded, you realise, actually, you know, this is in my control. I can do this. Because when we don't have these small wins... When we don't build our own confidence, we feel everything is out of our control and nothing is attainable. So we've got to start looking at the shorter term goal. Shorter term, um, not shorter term, longer term goal. Because we too often focus on the shorter term goal. And in life in general, if you set daily tasks, stuff that will help you always push forward, because Rome wasn't built in the day. And I've kept saying that. And it's true, and apparently Italian people say it, which is amazing. But if you just build your small wins with your health and fitness goals, build those little wins, and then over time, those little wins will amount to incredible self-belief. Because you will start to accumulate that snowball effect, that momentum. It's going to build and build. And then you're going to be like, I can do this. What can I do next? I realise, you know, I have got, I've got this belief in myself. I didn't realise I had. And then you start to think, right, what can I smash next? What can I do next? Nothing's going to stop me. And then you're going to get into the mindset of, I didn't recognise that person before. I'm going to smash this and no one's going to stop me. And then once you get into that mindset, that becomes a powerful force. Trust me, build those small wins to increase your confidence. All walks of your life, it is quite incredible. And then you can look back in like months before and you look at all your small wins, you write it down. You have, I, I promise you, if you have one day where over three months you reflect, if you write down how far you've come, how far you've come with all your small wins, how they've accumulated over time, you will honestly be stunned on how far you've come, how much you've achieved, and that's not by overwhelming yourself, that's by focusing on the daily, daily small wins that you've put in for yourself to set yourself up for success. So focus on that, you will push forward in your fitness journeys, I can promise you that. And the reason people don't want to do it is because it seems tough, it seems difficult, When once you get into the habit of it, it becomes essential, it becomes non-negotiable. Just getting that starting bit going. And it might seem tough, but it you've got to do that things that a lot of people don't do. And they're the things that are good to do because most people won't do them. So I promise you, if you start doing the things like that that most people won't do, you will get to where you want to be. I can promise you that. It is honestly that simple, and it sounds complex, but it really isn't. Anyway, just to recap, building those small wins in your daily life, each and every day, writing things down, getting closer to your goals, knowing you can hit those targets, but also stuff that will push you a little bit to help you push forward. But just building that over time, getting that snowball effect going and going. Once the momentum builds, you're going to build that self-belief which is going to make you an unstoppable force and you're going to realise that you always can 
and the, those barriers of self-doubt that you had before will be stripped down and you will become a force. I can guarantee you that. Anyway, ladies and gents, lovely, beautiful morning. I'm off to build my small winds in and enjoy this beautiful sunshine and see you on Wednesday for my next talk at six o'clock. Hope you found that helpful. Thank you very much.